Hello everybody, welcome to our channel, Recognizing Our Rights, where we aim to showcase the best constitutional audits, and today I present to all of you, Rogue Nation and James Madison audits teaming up in Sarasota, Florida to expose some downright terrible public employees who conspire with the cops to violate their rights. So along with links being put down below to their channels and the original video, I will also be leaving this up here on the screen for the rest of you to see. So don't forget to go subscribe to Rogue Nation as well as James Madison audits and let them know the recognizing our rights said hello. Because this is a reaction channel, as always, Ways, I'll be giving my input towards the end of this, and I hope the rest of you will do the same via in the comments section. And while we're still here, Recognizing Our Rights is brought to you by the Super Affiliate Network by Misha Wilson, an excellent mentor who can teach you how to be a professional affiliate marketer online. Link to more information on that will also be down below this video. And with that out of the way, let's check out this mess. I don't want that. I'm just trying to do a public records request here. Let me see what you got. I mean, what is that? Is that your, your card or what's it? Oh, I tried to give you a card. Okay, I didn't know what it was. She told me to come over and talk to him. I don't know who him is. So she pointed to me. Oh, I didn't hear it. So what card is that? Hey, I'll take you. that if that's it. I mean, I didn't know if that's a card for me for public records. No, it was, it was what you were requesting. Yeah, I guess I'll take it. I mean, I didn't know what it was. So he just looked at it. Sir, you cannot yes. be filming in here. I'm you have to step outside. Excuse me? You have to step outside. You cannot film in here. Yeah, I can. This is federal? Yes, you need to step outside. You cannot be in here. This isn't state of Florida? No, it's not. We just work on state of Florida. This is federal. You have to step outside. Okay. Now, you have to step outside. Now, you have to step outside. I don't know if you think I'm your kid, but I'm not your kid. You have to step outside. You cannot be in here. Maybe she thinks I'm her kid to talk like to somebody like that. Pointing. I don't know if she thinks someone is her kid. Is that why she talks to the public like that? Because she thinks everybody's her kid? Is that why she does that? You gotta work for the. You gotta. You gotta. I don't want to be filmed. Okay. I know about your free guys, just how much it is, so I want to get that from you. I don't have that on me. That's what I'm giving you. I want to give you my information. My email. And I, I just, I just want to look at the papers that were up here on the counter. She just moved them over there. They're public oh, information. Yeah. I just want to see what information. Yeah. I just want to see what information was available to the public before she removed them. Yeah, those papers all up there. Those papers all. There's like a stack of them right there. She removed all those from up here. Thank you. Yep, now I gotta go call talk. Call the police. I'm gonna call the police because if I see my if I see my face on so this thing, call the police. Do not come in here. Don't not give them people my name started. I'm not playing. You get. It. Well, we're gonna get your name, and I'm also gonna get those photos you took. You ain't gonna get nothing. Yeah. And I'm just gonna tell you you ain't gonna get nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna get them. Yes, I need a police officer at 1864 17th Street. Yes, ma'am. Sarah So. Okay, we got some um, racist people in our lobby. They were seeing our film us, which we are felt. Uh, I tend to leave, we will not leave. So he got me on video, which is perhaps. So I need to press charge. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. 
So as I was walking back by, I saw this young lady out by my car taking pictures. So I'm yeah. going to need her name, and I'm going to need those yeah. pictures. That's a public record request. Uh -huh. So it, it doesn't matter in the state of Florida. It doesn't matter what the device is on. It matters what the device is used for. She's obvious. Complaints to who? The police. Okay. When she's working in a capacity for the state, Using her no, personal phone, it. it's going to be a public record request. Okay. I'll send you all the, the proper information, or you can talk to your legal advisor. They'll, they'll instruct no. you. But I, I will need her name to request that, or if I can request that from you now. Oh, absolutely. No, they won't get it to me. It's got to be her supervisor. Me, sir? I'm coming into the building, yeah. Um, this is a state building because of confidentiality of employees. No mm -hmm. recording is allowed. Is it posted somewhere? Yeah, I can get the law for you. Ma'am, ma ma there is no law. Here? Yes, ma'am. The person I called back there, you want to sit there. Okay. Well, yeah. Do you have ID, sir? No. You don't? No. Can I tell me your name? Uh, if I've broken the law. Well, I'm conducting an investigation, so. Yeah, it doesn't. That doesn't apply to the Florida State Statute 901.151. Really? So you're refusing to give me your name? Unless you suspect me of a crime, I'm not I'm required to. I'm investigating to determine whether or not a crime has occurred. And because of that, you are obligated to give me your name. What, what statute's that? I don't know the statute by heart. Okay. Can you get a supervisor? Yeah, I'm a supervisor. Thank you. If they have a confidentiality clause that applies here, you're both in violation of the law, if you're reporting to. A no. confidentiality clause? That's yes. new. The statute is that I've never heard of. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. No, Brandsburg v. Hayes gives us the right Brand to be here. Brandsburg? Yeah. Brandsburg v. Hayes. It's Supreme Court. Okay. It rules over everything. Okay. Good. You an attorney? I am a practicing uh, law student, yes. Thank no, you. So you're not an attorney? Are no, and attorney? neither are you. Yeah, I'm not. You're right. Exactly. I enforce the laws of the state of Florida. I don't have to recognize well, you, them by... You have to know the laws to enforce the laws. I don't have to reverberate them back to you word for word. But you have to know them, right? I know them. I okay. know every law on the books. Okay. So you're talking about like a HIPAA violation? Technically, this is a... Public this lobby. Is, this, this is a public lobby. I just asked... You heard me ask. Is it posted somewhere? Yeah, even if it is posted, again, the I'm Supreme the Court... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't have to listen to idiocy anymore. <laughs> But, um, Excuse us. Um, any information that you guys want to obtain, there's different protocols and way they can be obtained. Yeah, absolutely. This is not the correct way. It is so absolutely. I'm, not, I'm gonna ask you guys nicely to exit our lobbies. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, the, just to let you know, the 119 statute, since he says he's kind of versed in it, it can be done at the location yeah. that the, the records are held, and that's why I asked, asked for the budget. That's all I asked. Everything for. we do here is public. It could be yes. found online, but also there is a way to solicit um, public records. Yeah, yeah we're well. So you yep. have to go through that process. But no, for now, right. we have customers here. We have to protect their confidentiality. So I'm going to ask you guys to leave our lobbies. So, so we're being trespassed. And if not, you will be trespassed. Okay. Yes. So we're being trespassed. Are we being trespassed? Yep. If you do not leave willingly, okay. you know we're trying to do it the best way possible. Okay, and what's the re not, what's the reason for us being trespassed? Well, first of all, you're recording in our lobbies. So okay, so the First lobbies. Amendment is the reason. And second, this is a state a government office. Uh, and so are the six hundred I visited earlier this year. I can't respond for the other offices. I can respond okay. for. And my before name. you get too far, what is your name, ma'am, and position? My name is Mercedes Martinez. I am a OMC here in the Sarasota oh, office. Okay. okay, great. So will you um, gently? Yeah, can I do my public record request before I leave? Okay, can I do my public record request before I leave? Yeah, you gotta give me your number. Can. Yeah. 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 Y
I, she told me to leave the You have to give me your information so I can enter you into the trespass you program. Do, stop doing what you're doing, man. You have to give me your information so you can be entered into the trespass no. program. Jesu Jesuits versus hey, state. Jesuit, G-E-S-T-E-W-I-T-Z -E 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 versus state. But you're sitting here surrounding me, and I'm she told me to leave the do you, Can I do my public record request with you? I'm in charge here, not you. You can find online. There's a page where you can send I, I can't do it with you. No, I'm not the person who gets public records. We have a department for that. Okay. I'm leaving. Trespass after, trespass after warning is a crime. Trespass in itself is not a crime. You're right. How do I enter you into the system to keep you out of this building without getting your information? You take a picture. That. Take a picture. Do it. That's what Orlando. Look up Orlando's policy. Okay. Yeah. Look up Sarasota's policy. I'm not in policy. Orlando, and I don't look, look up, up Orlando's policy because I don't work for the city look of Orlando. Up his, look up your state attorney's policy. They <laughs> But wait for your supervisor. What, 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 one simple case, Jesuits versus state. It's illegal for the police to detain someone to get an ID in order to issue a trespassing warning. Jesuits, G-E-S-T-E-W-I-T-Z versus state. That's not how you Je call Jesuits, but that's okay. how you spell Yeah, yeah, okay. But I get what you're saying. I just want to wait for supervisors because I, being formal, I'm going to throw it out I, I appreciate that. Okay. Being former law enforcement myself, I wrote policy for CLIA, mm -hmm. accreditation. Yeah. And that's why I'm telling you that. You cannot ask for ID just to tell somebody. I can ask property. for I can ask. I, you I, can I, ask. Ma'am, can I see your ID? Would it be possible for me to see your ID? I didn't really don't need to, but I have a legal right to ask you for that, correct? Okay. <laughs> wow. So you're good to go. So that's the intimidation tactic. You're good to go. It's not an intimidation factor. I have a legal right to ask anything. If I suspected, if I'm suspected of committing a crime, that's what 901151 yeah. says. It does. Can I look it up for you so I can show you? No. I don't want to be If you know officers, just let them know before this goes too crazy. These guys were filming inside. Um, I was doing a public records yeah. public okay. records request inside. Perfectly we legal. Public records request. They were actually inside filming. Perfectly yeah, legal. Because it's a safe place. Perfectly it's legal. Supposed to be exempt from any filming inside. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that, guys? The government exempt itself from reporters reporting on what they're doing. C can you believe that? Now the government is exempting itself from accountability. Isn't that amazing? You're still on the property, sir. You've been asked to leave. I called for a supervisor. I'm waiting for a supervisor. The supervisor's busy right now, sir, so you're more than welcome to go down to the front desk. It's at 2099 Adams Lane. 2099 Adams Lane. Yep. So okay. The police department headquarters. All right. You don't want to give me your ID to show me New York? Uh, no, it's not required. Thank you. And there you all have it. There was quite a lot of bad things that Karen did behind the counter, whether against the law or immoral. Hiding public records from public view, trying to give the auditors unlawful orders to not film within the building, and of course I shouldn't be surprised that she tried to call them racist. And what's even more infuriating is that the cops actually helped them trespass the auditors from public property, even though no crime was committed. There's so much more I could say about this interaction as a whole, but trying to go through all of it piece by piece would take up way too much time, so considering all this, once again, I'm going to leave this up here on the screen for the rest of you to see. Because tyrants and Karens like these need to be held accountable. But I'd love to know what you personally think about this whole situation. So please let me know in the comment section down below. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And hit that bell for when we upload new videos too. We have our own merch store on Teespring display below this video as well. So go ahead and go check that out because a portion of all the proceeds will be donated to an organization supporting our cause. Be sure to go check us out on TikTok too. And don't forget about the Super Affiliate Network by Misha Wilson if you want an excellent mentor to teach you how to be a professional affiliate marketer online. But most importantly, do not forget to go subscribe to Rogue Nation as well as James Madison Audits and let them know the recognizing rights said hello, as I'll be leaving links down below to their channels and the original video. And last but not least, if you have any audits of your own or any particular auditors you want us to showcase, please let us know via in the comments section or through email at recognizingourrights at gmail.com. Other than that, I'll see you all later, but remember to never stop loving the Constitution.